welcome back to my channel. It is 5.30 right now. I just came back from class. I'm about to do like revision on my lectures today, go for my fashion club meeting. And after that, I'm gonna go to work at the library. Get ready, go to the gym, take a shower, do like my night skincare routine, and boom, spend time with my father, tell him how my day was, you know, tell him all the teas. And yeah, go to sleep. Let's get to studying. to go to work i just got out from work yay and now i'm about to go get ready to go work out i'm back in my dorm it's currently 9 40. Yeah. i usually go to the gym around 7 or 8 but today I had so much to do. Adulting is real hard, y'all. So now. I just heard my phone. Ah. I've come out with my phone. Hey. Today. Today is a good day. You know, I'm not going to say today is a bad day because today is good. But I just ripped my pants. So we're going to do a little transition from here to my gym clothes. One, two, go. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Bro, I feel so snatched right now. Every time I work out, I feel like all the changes has been made. Like is this flat? <laughs> so that was very stressful. So I am definitely going to be using a body scrub. We got body scrub on my showering basket. I'm gonna use do I want to use this? Oh, no. <laughs> 2,000 years later. Yeah. I'm going to be using this oat milk body wash, oat milk, and vanilla. This is my to-go. I use it for my face only. So I've got my strawberry lotion. I mix this with every lotion that I use baby powder of course if you know me you know ooh. you know you know you know i love baby powder okay It's time for me to talk to my father about my day and stuff. Two hours later. We're going to do like a little fun thingy. I'm not going to be reading my Bible right now, but I'm going to be memorizing the verses that I read earlier. So I'm going to, you know, try to memorize them and read it back to y'all. If only y'all could see what's inside this book. <laughs> this is really my own thinking with God, bro. And it has a lock on it. Nobody else could open it but me. Nobody could see it but me and my father. Okay, the verses. So I'm going to try to memorize these verses. Look at all of them. Ah! You guys could see, but I can't see. Oh, I could see myself. 
I'm gonna I'm close it actually and put it here. So the verse, the first verse that we have is Matthew chapter ten verse nine. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to look. I need to know this. Matthew chapter ten verse nineteen. Do not worry about what to say or how to say it. For when the time comes, what to say will be given unto you. And we've got Matthew chapter 10, verse 30. Every head in your head. Every head in your head is counted. Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. Now, y'all, I'm going to try. I'm going to, like, you know, remix this in my own way. Because I don't really, you know. I'm not remixing it. I'm not changing God's words. I'm going to just tell y'all what I got from the verse. What I got from that verse is... Whoever loses their life for Christ gains life. That's probably not how he says it, but that's pretty much what I got from it. And then Matthew chapter 11 from verse 18 to 19. Yo, I love this one. Um, John the Baptist did not eat and they said that he had demons in him. Jesus Christ eight he feasted and they said that he was a gluten now this is my part it does not say this in the bible but basically what i got from this verse is you cannot please the word god sent someone that don't eat he just eats lupters and stuff you said that he had demons on him and jesus came he was eating up and you said he you cannot please the word. You cannot. Anyways, um, the next verse is Matthew chapter eleven verse. Matthew chapter eleven verse sixteen or eighteen. I don't know. I'm gonna go with sixteen. It says that. Ooh, this is my verse. Matthew chapter 11, verse 16. It says that, ah, me, I don't know. Is this chapter 16, verse 16? No, I don't know. I'm gonna just go with 11, verse 16. I don't know if I'm right. But Matthew chapter 11, verse 16, it says that, for whatever you bind here is bind in heaven, and whatever you lose in here is losing in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then we also have Matthew chapter 16 verse 26 What shall it profit a man to gain the whole word and then lose your soul in hell? Mm -mm. That would never be my portion or your portion in Jesus name. Amen. And Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 Hmm Hmm Mm, mm. For any of you that think you got enemies, you're beefing with people, that your that's your ups. Let me tell you, no human being is your ox. You got beef with the devil. But Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, it says that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against principalities against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in higher places Ooh. give me a second i just got goosebumps yes yes jesus yes that verse it gets me Ooh, it gets me on a whole different spiritual energy it just gives me a whole different Spiritual energy. <laughs> see, let me see if I was right for that one. Let me see what I'm saying. It was 16 verse 19. What did I say? I said 11 verse 16. Oh my goodness. My day was... It was really stressful, but... I thank God for the strength that he gave me. How did I feel today? What type of emotions did I feel? I felt anger. <laughs> I felt anger earlier today. 
but um let me know how you guys day went in the comment section or you could text me on instagram telling me how your day went i really meant it when i asked people to tell me how their day was like i really care if it's something you want to talk about definitely text me i will reply to you and we're gonna talk about it we're gonna get through it but anyways it's uh 12 now i'm about to watch a couple of her videos now and watch funny videos after that and go to sleep while watching funny videos but thank you guys so much for watching